Well, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. It's September the 20th. You know, one thing I realize is this is the week all the new fall shows start. So here's the question I'd like you to answer in the comments section today. What fall TV show are you most looking forward to watching? For me, it's always Blue Bloods, one of my favorite shows. What's one fall TV show you're looking forward to? To watching. Well, we're talking about how did angels minister in the life of Christ. Let me give you three of them quickly today that all centered around his birth. Number one, they predicted it, right? Matthew chapter 1, verse 20, when he had considered this, speaking of Joseph, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child who's been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son. You'll call his name Jesus. He'll save his people from their sins. Angels announced his coming birth to Joseph, and in Luke 1, they announced it to Mary. So number one, they predicted his birth. Number two, they announced his birth after it happened. They predicted it before it happened. They announced it afterwards. Luke chapter 2, the angels speak to the angels. You know the story. We'll be celebrating it very soon. But the angels said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born to you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. So angels appear to Joseph and Mary, predicting the birth of Christ. Angels appeared to the angels after his birth, announcing the birth. But there's one other way we see angels involved in the life and ministry of Jesus. And it's this. They helped to protect him. They helped to protect him. Uh, we read about that when it says this in Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. Now, when they, that's the wise men, had gone... Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, remain there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. So angels appear to Joseph in a dream and say, The child is in danger. Now, in order to protect this child, you must take him and Mary and flee to Egypt and you stay there until we tell you it's safe to return. So angels were highly involved at the very beginning of the earthly ministry of Christ. They predicted his birth before it happened. They announced his birth after it happened. And then they protected him as a baby from the wrath of Herod, who was seeking out of jealousy to destroy the one who had been called the king of the Jews. Angels played a really big role in the life of Christ. Father, thank you for the involvement of angels in our lives and in the life of our Savior. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let me remind you that we're going to wrap up our study on angels on next Monday, which means starting Tuesday on these morning check-ins, I'm going to use those to answer the questions you have about the Bible. So if you have a question about the Bible that I could answer in three minutes, I'd like you to email. Please don't put it in the comment section. We're only going to consider questions that are emailed to us at this email address. Info, I-N-F-O, at myefree.org. Info at myefree.org. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another morning check-in.